Welcome back to the next video about Cypress and this time we are dealing with Cypress and Mocha Awesome. So we use this to generate nice looking HTML reports. If you are interested in how we set up Cypress then just go to the previous video. It is also linked in the description. And why we are using Mocha Awesome is because we want to have one nice looking HTML report of all our um, test results so we can send this to a stakeholder because you don't want your uh, to send your stakeholder like code or something or screenshots, just a nice report where they can click and do everything. And so we make an HTML file. Here we have our project structure. So as always, we just have a look at our video outcome. Then we look at our user story that we will implement and then we will implement the code. So let's have a quick look at what we are building. Here you can see we just run our new command npm run Cypress report and what this does it searches for all our files or spec files that we have and for every single one it creates one JSON report for it. Then it merges all these reports to one big file together and then it converts this file to an HTML CSS report. So you can see it here we have here all our single files they are merged together and then we have uh, one big HTML file or with inline CSS you can see it here. We can now have uh, our filter like for past or for failed um, tests. You can have a look what happened here. We see it here um, how, many, or how long did it take, how many tests were executed, which passed, how many failed and so on. So this is what we are building in this. Let's start by looking at our story. So here we are in video 13 and we want to generate standalone reports for Cypress with uh, the reporter Mock Awesome. And the story is, as a technical lead, I want to be able to generate standalone reports when the E2E tests have been run with Cypress, so we can save the reports for documentation purposes or to send them to other people. The acceptance criterias are we want to have an npm command to generate a report. We want to save it to one HTML file, so we could possibly send it very easy via mail or we could later, um, for example, um, make a PDF out of it and send this via mail. And we want to use Mock Awesome, obviously. So we can move this story now to doing. So let's look where we are. So we are here on our branch develop, so we can clear this up. And now we can switch to our feature branch and we can just use git flow for this and we can say git flow feature start. And now we are on video 13 and we now make a new branch based on develop. And now you see we have here a new branch feature video 13 creates, uh, created based on develop. And now we can start with implementing all or everything that we need. So let's start by looking at reporters for Cypress. So you can just Google Cypress reporters and you will have a very nice documentation page. And here you can see it says uh, Cypress is built on top of Mocha and so any reporter for Mocha can be used with Cypress also. And what we want to do is, or what we can do is, we want to use Mock Awesome, Mock Awesome Merge and uh, Mock Awesome Report Generator. So if we Google this, um, you can see here on this page, this generates a very nice looking um, report. So you have it here, you can filter for tests, you can um, use the menu here, you see which are green or, or, or good, what are failing and um, you can see what was actually um, the mistake or what was good and um, you can also, since you can, this could be one big HTML file, you can also send this via mail or convert it to a PDF. So this is very, very good. And the other thing that we have here is the Mock Awesome Merge. And we can just look at here because we generate um, outputs in JSON and in several files. So every spec file from us that we have here in Cypress in our integration, this would be one JSON output file. And then we would have here three files generated. We can see this later, but we want to merge them to one file because we don't want to send very many files um, to um, to, an, uh, to another person or to a stakeholder of the project, but we want just to send one big file. So we merge all these reports together. And the third that we are using is Mock Awesome 
report generator and let's google this and look it up and what this does this will generate a report for us and here you can see it's March so for mock awesome report generator and here we can just use JSON output from mock awesome and um, transfer it to HTML CSS report so we can send this to someone else to a stakeholder of the project for example because they are often not very technical persons and can't do much with JSON uh, files or many JSON files and everything so it's good if they can just open one file and see it and later we can also make a PDF out of it if you want it. So we can just close this up here and install them. So we can just copy this command. We are here in our E2E folder and we run install and then we can, while this is working, we see we have here our config file. This is the file that we are having here, cypress.json where well, we have our base URL and here we want to add a reporter and this reporter is in our case mock awesome we have reporter options that are where do we want to save the results we have override fault so we are not overriding anything that is in, the, in this folder um, we don't want to have HTML but we want to have JSON And what we can do, yeah, we can just let this like it is. Or we could, I don't even know if we need really a report dire. So we can let this be. And then the next step that we need to do is we could run all this. Or we can make it a little bit easier. Um, we can just go into our package.json. And here you see everything is installed. And we can just add another command because we are seeing here we have our Cypress open which runs all our tests and now we can add another command and we can just say Cypress report and then we want to execute um, let's say a config.js file that we have to create and this has to lie or lay in the same folder so we generate a config.js file and this will hold all our logic that is needed um, to run the tests and to generate the report. So we just have to execute one command later. So what we need, we will need Cypress. Um, we also need, um, for example, uh, FSE to make something like uh, clean a directory and delete all the files. Um, then we can, or we want to have merge from a mock awesome merge. And the last thing that we need is the report generator. So we can just call this uh, generator and we require this from mock awesome report generator. And then we can just run an async function. Um, let's call it run tests. And the first thing that we want or we can do is we want to empty the directory that we are saving all um, our reports in or we want to create it. So we say more awesome uh, reports and we can just FSA uh, Google this FSA empty dire and look it up. So here you can see it, you can use empty dire and choose where the directory is empty. If a dead directory does not exist or exists, it is created. The directory itself is not deleted, deleted. So we can use this and this will create this folder 
if it's not there, and if something is in it, it will delete it at first. Then we can say we want to have all our total failed um, tests. And for this, we have to run a Cypress. And this should actually be called with double S. And we say just run. Then we want to have a JSON report. And this is just using this merge command. We are always in this folder. And then we can use um, our generator to create um, a report. So from the JSON. So first we have Cypress run, we generate all our JSONs, then we merge them together, have one big JSON report, and then from this report we create one HTML file. And we can specify some options here. Um, so if you don't do this, it would create a HTML and a CSS file, but we want to have everything together. So we can just say inline true, and then we will have inline CSS. And at the end we want to exit this process with our total failed um, tests and then we can just call run tests so our function that we made here and just fix this up this naming so if we call this file this should be run completely so we see here we have our base URL we have our reporter we report our options. We will always do this in this folder here. And we have here a command to start it. So now we can just say npm run cypress report. And this should generate nothing. Here, so we cannot find module cypress. So we run this again. And then you see, we have here our new directory mock awesome reports, or mocha, yeah, mocha awesome reports. And now it is starting the Cypress suite, suite, suite. And I think something that we have to do for this is, um, so it can, can run the E2E test against it. We have to go to our API and start it. And we also have to start our front end. So, um, the E2E tests have something where they can run against. So this will take a little bit of time. So we can see now our backend is starting and everything is fine. We can see that our front end is at, at the moment compiling and uh, Cypress still needs some time. So probably it's the first time, so it will need a little bit more. So let's run our test, our test and generate our report. So we can just call npm run cypress report. And now what this does, you can see it here in our folder. It generates a new folder or directory mock awesome reports, like we said here. So actually I think, let's see if this is working. And then we run our config.js file or the rest of the logic here and we create um, with Cypress um, all our uh, files or, or all our reporting files and you see here so this folder name here was wrong because it's doing all the stuff in our mock awesome report folder so we have to change this here up so we empty this directory here because here nothing happens and now you can see if we go to the top um, let's see where we are so it found four files, constant.js, homepage, login, user, so all our spec files. And then it generates a re JSON report for every file that we have from the out test outcome. And um, you see in our constant.js there are no tests, so everything is fine. It also generates a video from this and saves it. And now it does this for every spec file that we have. And we can see in our users file there is something failing. And what we can do now is we can have a quick look into our E2E folder because at first we have here our mock awesome reports and you see we now have um, an HTML file generated 
from this and we see here our mock awesome report and we can see we can here we can say show passed or show failed we can so we can sort this a bit we see here how many tests failed and how many passed how many um, suites we had how many tests how many were passing how many were failing and you can also look what happened here exactly or what went wrong so we see we have not found this first element and then all other tests also failed so we can go into this folder here and what Cypress does if a test fails um, it makes a screenshot of it so we have here our, from our user spec file screenshots and you can see here there is not even a page loaded so what we should do or what we can do and we'll probably fix this issue we can go in our user spec files and we can just call cypress.visit to make sure that we are on our right domain and this also uses our cypress.json so we are on localhost 4200 and so we can just run um, our npm command again and see if it, everything passes um, now and so like you can see we can see it here if we go into this folder now it emptied our directory like we said in the config so we can delete this folder here and now for every spec file that is run a json report is created and added into this here into this uh, directory so we can just wait until this is coming so here's our first report so we are not opening them now because then um, file system would have issues because it can't be opened and this generates now the JSON reports for every of our spec files then it merges all the spec files together to one big JSON file and from this we, gen we then generate a one HTML file with inline CSS so we can just send one file to someone or later or in the next video generate a PDF from it so now we see also our user tests were um, successful and all as a result we can see everything went fine and so we have here our report and when we see it here for example here we have a JSON file and then you can see all our tests and all the options that we need and then we have here our mock awesome generated HTML report and we can open this and then we see before we had here fail tests and now everything is fine and this we could send to someone um, who needs this so what we can do now is we can close this branch here or before we can now add a commit um, or add something to our readme and we can say we have here our e2e tests and we can also um, say generate e2e report HTML and here we can use the command npm run cypress report so now we can just add all the files to our um, to git and we can say video 13 and we say edit mock awesome to cypress to generate pure HTML CSS reports for sending to stakeholders. So we can say git push and probably yeah, the upstream plant is not there. So we just copy this, set our upstream branch and push it to our GitLab repository. And the next thing that we can do, we can merge it back into our develop. So we can just say git flow feature finish. And this will merge it back into our develop and switch our branch to develop. And then we just push it to our remote repository. While this is working, we can just have a look at our story. And here we can see we have an npm command to generate a report. We have or we can save it to one HTML file and we are using a uh, mock awesome so we can move this to done and you see we are now on develop and we can just push the develop branch so now everything should be fine 